A warning, this story contains details that may be disturbing to some viewers. And while great folklore has surrounded this case for years, we must not forget that these were real children. They were discovered here in Stanley Park about 70 years ago. And now we finally know the identity of the two young boys in the Babes in the Woods case. Derek and David Dalton, ages six and seven. Their grandparents were Russian immigrants who came to Canada at the turn of the 20th century. Their bodies found by a groundskeeper near the Beaver Lake area of the park in 1953. The boys' skulls were found beaten with a hatchet, the weapon found near their bodies, which were hidden under a woman's coat. It's just heartbreaking to know that there are two children, and we knew they were young, very young boys at the time when I read the file, that basically sat out in the cold every night and knowing that there wasn't anyone who claimed them. I knew we had the boys' bones and I decided to make contact with various labs in order to see if there was a way that we could get identity just from DNA. The hurdle we had to overcome at the time was the fact that these, the DNA in these bones was very degraded. Detective Constable Ida Rodriguez contacted a Redgrave Research Forensic Service, a forensic and genealogy company out of Massachusetts. We do something very similar to what an adoptee might do when trying to find their birth parents by uh, building out the family trees of the living matches, finding out how they connect to each other and therefore how the unidentified person may relate to them. The VPD says the boy's mother was a prime suspect. This is back in 1947, which is a dramatically different landscape as from what it is now. You know, we didn't have the uh, social security net that we have now. <clears throat> and, uh, um, you know, very sort of rough life. And again, it's assumptions on why this would have happened. Former detectives and experts who worked on the case are relieved kept it to ourselves what biological remains were kept for future advancement in DNA and scientific research. We kept that secret for a lot of years. We deserve an identity and we have an identity that we enjoy when we're alive and we also deserve that when we're dead. In Vancouver, Crystal Adiris, City News.